Okay, so get your ingredients together. This is your ingredients for making yourselves nice, easy, fresh, healthy, homemade chili con carne. I'm going to talk you through them this time rather than just showing you. So we've got some nice, fresh red peppers. We've got some fresh onion at the back there. We've got extra lean, 5% uh, fat, lean minced meat. We've got two tins of tins of top tomatoes, two cans of kidney red, red kidney beans. The reason for that is obviously, guys, we, you know, we've got a family of five of us. So, you know, I like to make up a nice big batch because even if you've got any left over, you can always pop some into some bags, stick them in the freezer and then use them again another day. I've got a can of baked beans there because, man, I'm not being funny, but I like to wash the tomato sauce off and use those white beans in there. It just gives it a bit of extra flavour. Then got uh, some garlic as well. This is for your seasoning. And then this right here, this is my own blend for my chili con carne as I like to make them quite regularly so I'll put a little blend together this is a mixture of chili powder paprika and ground coriander and oh my god the flavors just fly into your mouth they are gorgeous so get your ingredients together roughly dice up the veg ready for the pan then throw it all in the pan together all the minced meat and the fresh veg and then just brown the minced meat off okay um, now I don't use any oil in the pan when I cook my minced meat because I, eat, I like the minced meat to cook itself in its own fat so we can reduce the fat content, content down even more and make it even healthier. Okay, here we go guys and girls, look at that, looking ready to eat. Right, let me just explain to you how we got to this point here, okay? So bear in mind that this, um, this is based on a kilo of mince, so if you're only using 500 grams, obviously just half the measurements. So. Uh, a kilo of mince, we did 300 ml of boiling water with one tablespoon full of chili powder, so medium to hot, depending on how spicy you like it. Then a teaspoon, a tablespoon full of um, paprika and a, two teaspoons of ground coriander. Okay, mixed all those up together and then threw those in the pan. If you want a bit of a meatier taste, you can always throw in the... Um, uh, a couple of stock cubes in there as well, a couple of beef stock cubes just to give it a bit of flavour. And you can see there, look at that. Been, uh, I've been straining out, as you can see with the pan there, I've been straining out the baked beans and the kidney beans in there. And then I tipped all those into the pan um, and then added all at the same time. And then I brought them back to the boil and then brought them down just to simmer. Now, before you add the kidney beans, this is a perfect point if you've got kids that just don't like kidney beans, because some people do, you can separate them out, right? So you can do two, two portions. I don't know who doesn't like kidney beans, though, because I freaking love them. They're so tasty. But you can separate them out. You can see here I've got two pans on the go. One's at the back there. This one here I'll be using for freezing so that we can have quicker meals later in the week and still keep them nice and healthy. And then this one here at the front is for tea. So all you do is once you've um, added all the mixture... Uh, separated out the pans if you need to separate pans or just stick with the one once you separate that the mixture put it on to cook bring it back to the boil and then let it simmer for 20 minutes okay okay guys and girls so once you finish making your chili you can obviously um, cook some rice up to go with it or a baked potato or even a sweet baked potato keep it really nice and healthy and then you can go down and bowl him up guys and girls look at that meal fit for a king nice fresh healthy ultra lean homemade chili con carne try it yourself enjoy but hold up guys and girls don't run off just yet because uh well what do you do with your leftovers i hear you saying well guys and girls you can come up with loads of different ideas you could like throw them into a, a fajita wrap or you could throw them with baked potato and rice again if you wanted to for leftovers or you could come up with this fantastic ingenious idea that my daughter came up with, which is a super healthy option of like a burrito slash wrap, obviously no rice. But here we go, check this out, look at this. Get yourself a romaine lettuce leaf, heat up the chilli, dish it out in the middle, and you've got some nice, healthy, fresh homemade chilli wraps. My God, I'm going to go and enjoy mine now. I hope you guys do as well. Like I said, hope you enjoyed the recipe. Um, I hope you guys are going to give it a go. And what more to say than go and enjoy. See you later, guys and girls.